Okay, so this is a little test on uh, Turnitin being able to recognize AI generated text. So I am currently in uh, Chat GPT 4. And I asked it to write a three-page essay on Benjamin Franklin for middle school level. Uh, I don't think it grasped that I wanted it to be, you know, for middle school students. But um, it wrote this. I, I'm not going to go through the whole thing of it, writing it, but it wrote this. Um, some headers, some introduction. It's not three uh, pages. In fact, it was only like one and a quarter. So I saved that in a Word document and I turned it into Canvas. And um, put it in as a test student. So um, it's saying as far as turn it in goes as plagiarism, it got a green light. Um, so I'm going to open up the speed grader here and we'll take a look at that. What? So here is the paper in Canvas, and I set the uh, parameters of this assignment um, to have turn it in and similarity score. And if you've ever done this, so we're, you know the turn it in works relatively well. But now when I click on the report. you'll see that Turnitin now has generated AI over here. And it's saying 100%, which is impressive. For plagiarism itself, it's saying 9% match overview. When we click on that, it's uh, giving me things like this, that, you know, Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy. I mean, that's common knowledge. I would not ever bother anybody about that and some of these other things. So, you know, there's nothing here plagiarism wise that I, wise that I would dink anybody for. However, that's this AI score that's saying 100%. So, you know, turn it in has. Uh, you know, hit the nail on the head because it was 100% generated AI and it, and it totally found it. Um, so when you click on that, that's, you know, everything except the headers is, as they're saying is uh, generated AI. And there are, you know, it has, disclaimers and stuff about this um but it's saying you know 100 percent of qualifying text of the submission has been determined to be generated by ai uh the disclaimer says our a writing assessment is designed to help educators identify text that might be prepared by a generative ai tool our ai writing assessment may not always be accurate it may misidentify both human and ai generated text so it should be used at should not be used as sole basis for adverse actions against a student. It takes further scrutiny and human judgment in conjunction with the organization's application of its specific academic policies to determine whether any academic misconduct has occurred. So that's kind of like, a, a, as we used to say, a sticky wicket, because it's telling me it's 100% generated. Now, how do I verify that? The only way I could verify it is you know turn it in is telling me that so the fact that i did this little exercise to show that this actually works 
the question arises, what do I do with it to a student when I get 100% of this? So that's where we have to talk about policies and schools. Um, I'm at the uh, higher education level. So, I mean, is that a, uh, an issue I need to bring up with my administrators if I see this? I actually would. So if I saw 100% like this, I'm going to pretty much think this was totally accurate. Um, and it's, you know, it was an interesting little test, to say the least. So 